Welcome to Utec POS. For this video, let's do open billing. Open billing is a feature that is mostly used by restaurants or coffee shops whose customers are seated and billed out by the end of their meal. For the first step, we will adjust your Utec app settings to enable open billing feature. You'd have to go through the three horizontal lines here, proceed to settings, and focus on the right part. At this point, you can turn on park orders to enable the open billing feature. We also recommend to turn on print order slip so that the kitchen slip will go directly to them. Now here on the left side, please ensure that receipt printer and order printer are tagged correctly. Now go back to main menu, back to our register, and from this page, you're seeing two new icons. We have the car icon above and the car icon below. This one below will save new tables, while this one above is the list of pending tables that you have. For businesses that has service fees on top of your bill, please go here to service part, turn on this function so you can have the 10% top fee. If yours is lower or higher than 10%, you can edit this part. But for businesses that doesn't have service charge on top, just turn off this function. Now, let's start making a new transaction. For the first situation, we are going to create a new table. Say, for example, your client asks for shrimp tempura and calamari. Whatever we press on the left side appears on the tray. Our next flow is to submit this to the kitchen. We'll go to print, tag this as takeout or dine-in. And then here in kitchen note, you will input for whom is this table or for whom is this order. We can type table number five, for example, and then we can click on print order. When print order is pressed, the printer will print out the list of items to be prepared and for whom this order is for. After which, you can now press on the car icon below to save this bill. Once again, the system will just ask again, for whom is this table? Just input that T5 and then save. Now we have a pending table. Exit that view and create new tables as necessary. Now let's review the flow we just did. We can use the acronym OPS, where you take the order, print the order, and save the order. Saving is the most necessary part as this is the part where you create new tables, where you add tables. Now for the second situation, say for example, that table number five raised their hand and said, oh, we're not taking calamari anymore. We'd have to do voiding. To void, let's go here to our park icon above. This is the list of tables that we have. Press on the table we need to edit. And from here, we have the list of items they have ordered. To remove calamari from the tray, just click on calamari here. And the system will ask for a voiding passcode. The voiding passcode for now is 9876. Remove that item, and now our tray is updated. Once done removing, just click on the car icon below, and then exit again. We now have just updated their bill. Please do update your kitchen as well that calamari is now removed from their bill. Let's move to the next situation where in that same table is going to add another item. Please ensure that when you're adding another item to their bill, the tray is clear. Now when adding a new item to the table, we'll follow the same OPS or OPS. We take the order, we print the order, but when printing out, we highly suggest that here on the kitchen note, we will input a code AO, additional order, so that when printed out, the kitchen won't be confused as to why there are two of those table numbers. Following OPS, we are now going to save this bill. To save the bill, just click on the car icon below. And when it's an additional order, no need to type anymore. We'll just have to select the table number below to add it to their bill. Now exit the view and continue your operation. 
For the next situation, say for example, table number five now has raised their hands asking for the bill. To print out the bill, we can now click on the car icon above, press on the table that is billing out. Here on print, we can now click bill request. That will print out the total number of items and total amount of money that they owe to you. Two things may happen when they request for the bill. Either they are going to add more items or they are going to pay immediately. If they are to add new items, just click on the save button, exit, and do the same OPS that we just did. But if they are paying, you can just wait here, wait for the payment of 1250 and once your server has delivered you exactly 1250 you may now press on charge button to close the bill. And that's how we can process an order when it's an open bill. You can now click on print receipt to give your customer the final receipt. Other things that you might need to know if you have the open billing feature. First is renaming the table. Say for example, this is order for table number three. Say we printed this for table number three, and then we saved it to table number four. Given this situation, we'd have to edit table number four. In that case, just click on the table, and here above on the park tag, we can just edit it, T3, and then just click on save again, and now we have table three. Now for the next situation, if we'd ever need to void the entire table, say for example, they changed their mind, they don't want to proceed with their order anymore, just click on the car icon above. This table, we just have to swipe to the left and it will ask for the voiding passcode of the manager. Again, that's 9876. And now it's gone from your open bill. And that's how you can process orders when you have an open billing feature. If you have any questions or clarifications, please reach out to our Facebook group chat. Happy selling!